Email insanity. Are you tired of having an inbox which is overflowing? Hello everyone, Scott Friesen here at Simpletivity, helping you to get more done and enjoy less stress. And in today's video, we are taking a look at SaneBox, an application to help you keep all of your emails in order and help you to deal with less emails at any given time. Now, SaneBox has been around for quite some time and integrates with almost every single email application. Here you see we've got everything from Gmail to both Office 365 and Outlook.com. And essentially what SameBox is doing is helping you to learn your email, learn which emails, which senders, which messages do you actually engage with, and try and filter out and organize everything else. So let's jump into my Gmail account. And here you will notice on the left-hand side of my screen, I have a number of Sane folders. We've got Sane Later, Sane News, Sane No Replies, and Sane Tomorrow. Now I'm gonna get into the details of each and every one of these folders, but essentially, again, what SaneBox is doing is learning your email behavior and then helping you out by trying to keep only the most relevant or the most important emails here in your inbox and then filtering out other messages into respective folders. And of course, you can create many more customized SANE folders as well, depending on how you work and how you operate with your email. Now, when you first install SaneBox, what it's going to do is analyze thousands and thousands of your previous email messages. Again, it wants to learn how you interact with your email and see if it can discover where should it put things in terms of a newsletter folder, where are things that perhaps you don't need to see immediately, but you'd still like to browse from time to time. It wants to learn how you deal with email. And as you can see, it's done a very good job at this point. I only have about six emails here in my inbox. So let's go through through some of these folders. The first one we see here is called Sane Later. And as the title suggests, it is putting messages here that it does not feel is terribly important. Uh, they are addressed to me. Uh, this is not spam, but it's putting things here that it says, you know what, you haven't clicked on these things recently. You're not really engaging with these things. Um, we think you can maybe check this once or, or twice a day. You don't need to see this here in your inbox. Now, the second one has to do primarily with newsletters and marketing material. And here you see it's, it's chock full of things from Best Buy and McLean's and a few other things. This is mostly marketing marketing things, things that I might want to unsubscribe to if I don't need them anymore, but they are correctly putting it into a sane news folder. Now there's something interesting that just happened and this really blew my mind in terms of how SaneBox is learning my behaviors on the fly. You'll notice that I have a bunch of best buy messages here in my sane news folder. So just a few minutes ago, I had a bunch of those best buy messages here in my inbox. And as I was dragging them over into the sane news folder, um, I must have dragged about 15 or 20 of them. And remember, as I'm dragging and moving messages, SaneBox is learning my behavior. Well, I had left one. I had left the most recent Best Buy message. I hadn't dragged it over manually. And you know what happened in front of my very eyes? That message disappeared and of course reappeared here in my Sane News folder. Essentially, SaneBox was saying, well, listen, you, you've moved the last 15 to 20 there's a very good chance you don't want to see this in your inbox either. So we're going to do it for you. We're going to move it there to your same news folder. I think that's absolutely brilliant. It's learning as we go. Um, I can change that behavior if I want to. It hasn't archived it. It hasn't deleted it. I can always go back and find that message, but it's learning my behavior as we go. So for example, if I don't want to see this particular email or this particular sender here, I can just drag it to my sane later folder. And it's already learning about that sender and perhaps the next message will already end up here in the sane later folder.
Now there's something else I want to show you and it's called the same box digest and what this is is that it's going to give me a summary of some of my most recent new and unread emails that have gone to other folders. So if I open this digest I'm given a new menu and here it shows me some of the recent trainings. Now what it means by that is that it started in a different folder but I moved it somewhere else and so here you can see that this message it was previously started its life in the inbox, but it's currently trained to go into the same news. Here's that example I was just telling you about, about that Best Buy newsletter. It started in my inbox, but it is now trained to go to same news as well. Now I can change that if I want to. If I want them to come back to my inbox, I can do so here. But this can be a great summary. And if I go down even further, here is a same news area, and it's showing me all of the messages from Best Buy. Here are all of the messages that I haven't opened recently and they are trained to go to the same newsletter. If I want to change that, I can do that as well. I can train all of these types of messages to go somewhere else. So a nice little digest, a nice little summary that you can keep your eyes on. Now let's look at the same no replies and same tomorrow. I'm actually going to start with the same tomorrow folder. Um, often as you're going through your emails, as you're checking new messages, you come across something and you say to yourself, you know what? I don't need to deal with this right now. I'd like to deal with this in the future. I'd like to deal with this tomorrow. Well, that's exactly how the SANE Tomorrow folder works. I can just drag my messages into SANE Tomorrow and what's going to happen is that everything within this folder, everything within this SANE Tomorrow folder will be moved to my inbox tomorrow morning because that would be tomorrow, right? So it's a great way to easily defer a number of messages. Now you may be saying, well, wait a minute, Scott, doesn't Gmail already have a new snooze feature? Scott, you recommend Boomerang as a way to uh, snooze items and bring them back? Well, that, that is very true. What I do like about the Sane Tomorrow feature, and you can have other customized uh, durations. You could have a Sane Next Week, for example, or Sane Monday, uh, for example is that it just makes it a lot easier if you have some of those defaults, right? If you want to quickly do uh, move things to tomorrow, it's just a click and drag rather than selecting a particular time as you would have to with some other add-ons or the new Gmail snooze feature. Now the last folder I want to go over very quickly is the saying no replies feature and this is a really interesting one. How many times have you sent a question or a request and you are expecting or anticipating a reply. Well, what SaneBox does is that for every email that you send out and do not receive a reply, it's going to show up here in the Sane No Replies folder. So for example, just a few moments ago, I sent this email asking someone, hey, can we still meet? Please get back to me by Friday. Well, this person has not gotten back to me, so it's here in my Sane No Replies folder. I can come in here and check which emails I have not gotten a reply yet to. However, as soon as this individual does reply to this email, it will no longer be in this folder, right? Because it has met that criteria. It has replied, that person has replied to me. I don't need to go check and see if they have responded to that email. So if you are looking for a better way to clean up your inbox and be able to filter out the important versus the less important, saying box may just be the right solution for you. Now I'd like to thank SaneBox for sponsoring today's video. In fact, if you would like to try SaneBox for free and get a special discount only for Simpletivity fans, I would encourage you to click the link in the description and also in the comment below. And I'd love to hear your feedback. Have you already used SaneBox? What is your experience? Or what are you most excited about using as you take SaneBox out for a test drive. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Remember, being productive does not need to be difficult. In fact, it's very simple.